Crap, 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 crap. Please let there be calms, please let there be calms. Also, please be okay. Oh God, what if Drax? No, stop, you can't think like that. Hello? Anyone? Peter? I'm Groot. Is there a reason why Muscles locked me in my room? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. The llama thing's been chewing through my wall. Cammy did? It has a name? Point is, maybe it's a way to get out. If I can just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Any sign of Drax? Not yet. You know what? I'm actually glad this happened. Why? Why? Because I, Flarkin, told you guys that thing would chew everything. But did you listen? Oh, no. Can't listen to Rocket. He just fixes everything. So wait. Are you happy Cammy chewed a hole through the wall or not? No. But also maybe. If it means we get out of this. Uh, so, guess who gets to fix the bulkheads when all this is done? Assuming we don't die first. I am Groot. Bet your bark it's me. And if it weren't for me, the Milano would still be floating dead in space right now. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, we're real grateful that you fixed the ship in time for Drax to hijack it. I know, I, I was just checking. Well, go check the cockpit instead. It's locked, Peter. It was worth a try. Tell me you know where the cockpit is. I know where the cockpit is. in the rack room. Oh, it 
fucking waiting for. We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kurtakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop! We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak and time you showed some Nords. Fine, I'm in. Any other objections? Nope, I'm good. I am good. Good, then let's go find our friend. At least we all managed to get some right. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a flarkin' lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, oh, this stuff is gross! Ah, uh, are you kidding me? Ah, uh, wet fur is the worst! Fuck it! You alright? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nut jobs. Great! They aren't nuts. Pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? Exiles from where? Hala. They escaped Kree persecution revolutions ago. Now they offer sanctuary and protection to those in need. And you were here before? I spent some time here to heal after. Tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh... Don't fall and you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Well, even if he did, he knows how to swim. Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. What? Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! To mend for the lost! Brock, get a little help here! Ugh. Hi, guys. How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysau once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. Or is it Omphad who teaches me later? Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> oh, my what are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? 
whisper a course correct, obviously. <laughs> One of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on. The creepy cave's this way. The what now? The creepy cave. Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown. Not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Gru. The point is... Or was... Or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! Where the Kotadi take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you. Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Kotadi? I am. Uh, plant people like Groot, but uh, lame. The Kotadi are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of this space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Ish. My telepathic control won't last. Double flark! Alice didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Seem that bad. Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. You were so wrong, Stir Fry. <laughs> Crap! I was kind of close. You are sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. all the stone faces down here. They're spooky, right? The Kotadi mentioned the faces in the dark before. Think I've got something over here, Peter. Want to talk about it, little cousin? Talk about what? The pain, fear, misery, grief. Seems Green Meanie isn't the only one hurting on the inside. Uh, you got your antenna crossed, lady. I ain't none of those things. That's what Gamora always says, too.
actually say that, or are you just trying to get us to turn around? Hey, don't be a translator. I'm just relaying the message. But now that you mentioned We're not turning around. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! no. I don't trust him not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, you feeling lucky? I got this. Rocket, just stay to the side and try not to die. Times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Oh, Stumpy. And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog? I take it back. Having normal tracks around would have been useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Me maybe they weren't native to Seknarf? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy. Because she wants us dead. I am Groot. Wouldn't surprise me if she's here, after what we did to her. My blade barely scratches these things! 
Could really use tracks about now! as much as the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cave! <sighs> Who? Bug Lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom! Are you the wrong thing you were looking for? Not sure if I wanted to answer or not. Whatever gets us out of here. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. <coughs> Ugh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay. Set in the charge. Stand back! I don't think this is the one where you kill me. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, star guy. But only until it isn't. You'll see that soon enough. No, wait, you should know that already. Don't you remember your dreams? How do you know about that? Dunno, I just do. Your bark's crawling. I'd almost jump into the water. seem to care about the Nova kid, didn't he? You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then. I see rocks, rocks. and, uh, crystal, crystal things. things. 
A statue that looks like a face... and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate, little fuzzy. And they might actually be worth a few units. To the right buyer, of course. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry, your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. We need to get on those crystals, group. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Maybe we need to accept that not everything can be explained. The galaxy's a weird place. Just gotta go with the flow. Getting lost in a deadly cave is your idea of going with the flow? We aren't lost, little fuzzy. Not in this covering what other versions of us have already found. Isn't it exciting? If you want to stop Rooker, right router, this is the only way. Finally, the face of a thousand lies, I think. It's gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. You know, you... Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers! Of course I'm angry! I'm what? Wandering around a cave that's falling apart, looking for Flark knows what! Can you get us through here, Gamora? Flark, I'm going in. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, it's not you! Something bad is about to happen! No! Oh, that's it! I'm going in! Rocket! Blow up this statue! Save Drax! And get out of here! Yes? Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill! Bug Lady said the face is keeping. 
keeping us from helping Drax. So we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do. No, no, no. I'm done with all the riddles. <laughs> Let's just hear Mantis out on this, okay? What if the whole place collapses? <laughs> Not helping. Rude, can you tell him to stop? Little Fuzzy's in a mood. Did she or did she not say this thing is in our way? But nothing! I ain't just here to take orders. Neither! Bug Lady is full of flark! Stand Rocket, don't! Rocket! Feels like I see this a lot. You wanna know the plan? Yep. Make it run! <laughs> oh! Woo. Woo. Close one. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Matriarch. This is the one where I fail. We're trying to help you. Drax! It's okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! <sighs> what? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! You're gonna regret saying that. Sure, I. Are you Spartoy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again? He saved Drax after he killed us all. How would a gun do that? Show him! Snow guy! I'm telling you, Will. You should let me take those guns apart. Figure out how they take them. I swear you'll get them back. Mostly intact. I'm not letting you take apart my guns. And that's how it's done. Uh, the exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water... Wait, hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding... This is impossible! I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! <laughs> You couldn't have warned us that Shatari were hiding out in this cave? They aren't always. Sometimes we just run into cute little eyeballs. I'm familiar with eyeball guys, yes. What I don't get is why they be here. Man, what is this, like the worst timeline? If I never see a Shatari again, it'll be too soon! I settled for that! Hey! Look out! Oh. I never did like balloons! Whoa! 
Eyeballs everywhere! Try to keep up, guys! Keep some breathing room, Groot! Get it's back in there, Tiger! Get the points! Danger close, Rocket! With our luck, Hellbender's goons are on the other side, just waiting to jump us! Payback from Hellbender is literally the last thing we need right now! Can you save your I told you so's for when we're not being shot at? Don't these guys know how to let bygones be bygones? Just had to chase us, didn't you? Hey, did you even notice that this happened to be the moment I said? I suppose you want credit for that too? Get too attached! Yes. Lock and load, Rocket! Anyone else feel like this fog has a mind of its own? Just one of the many things that don't want us here. Could this get any worse? Sure! We could be dealing with those churchified Nova weirdos too! Ah, that would be worse! Church to not want anyone to find it. Splat, it paints an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. Guys, guys, guys! I don't know if you noticed yet, but this galaxy needs saving. Uh, I thought that's what we were doing. We may not be the biggest, the smartest, or even the most powerful warriors around, but just like David facing Goliath, we can win. Who's with me? That Here we was go again. Uni. Smoke the rocket! Run him through! You don't get a chance! Man, what else can this place possibly throw at us? I would rather not find out. If anything else comes out of this fog, I quit! You can't quit! It's in your contract! Too weird. This is the point. This larking 
fog is probably gonna give me hives! I don't want to think about that right now! You made me do it, you nutcase face off! You really seem to be in this has got my name on it! Contract! Does anyone not hate us? I say let us. Don't sweat it! You didn't stand a chance! Fog of fear, faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Right? What thing? I'm fine. It's just folks I'm helping drive. <laughs> He's gonna Just how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow! I don't think they're looking to make a mind quill. Oh. Fog of fear. Faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? More than rock monsters. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. It's a breathing room, Groot! Don't let Trax hear you say that! Are we sure this is where we want to be? A little late for that question! Let's do this! 
Slice and dice! This is how it's done! Why should I ask? Looks like you need a little help! Why didn't we see any of these guys from wrong? That went about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Run anyway. The fuck is it seems to bother wherever these giant things are? Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it, unlike some people. I know why we're doing it, and don't think Drax won't hear all about it either. Oh, is this the where little Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say he won't. Um, guys. I know, little Fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. It doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Sure, you save him while I drown. I don't know, but those big leaves could be useful, like a dam. No, it's... What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation. Rocket, don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it! It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. That's one big beanstalk. This doesn't seem fair to you. He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? Have you met Rocket? Rex's anecdotes about the death. Like the Catathian equivalent of Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Figure something else out. Plant, plant, not a you plant. But we ain't got much choice. What's a big ass plant doing all the way down here? The priests call it Boros, giver of light and life. In our case, 
I'd settle for some shelter. do without me. Yeah, where, oh where, would we get another gun? Fear the almighty Star-Lord. You say something? Uh, nope. So this Jack Beanstalk guy... Is that an Earth hero? Kinda. Basically, he plants some magic beans and they grow into this giant plant, which, obviously, he climbs. Don't know where to get magic beans, you big galoot. You seeing us die horribly? Oh, it's too sad to count. Great! That's ten apiece! an even bigger head than he's already got. Too bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up and I'll swipe him in your sleep. Nice shot, Peter. Oh, uh, thanks. So what was at the top of this giant beanstalk? The castle, in the clouds where a giant lived. Yeah, probably best that Drax is unconscious for this. Less wet. Turn. I think we're making progress. Stupid plant. No stock. You know. Sorry. Keep at it. And... It must still be stuck somewhere.
Atlantis, any of those realities where we just leave rocket here. Hypothetically speaking. Oh yes. Anywhere I don't kill them all for abandoning me? Hypothetically speaking! Stupid plant! Still stuck. You know? Sorry. Keep at it. Let's see about crossing. Not without me. There are timelines in which Little Fuzzy moves mountains for you. In this one, you must walk an ocean for him. Ocean? Really? To him? Yes. It grew. It's not that. I just want some help up here. Up we go, group. That's good. If I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind, focus on saving Drax? He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't... <laughs> Groot would never go for that. What are you guys talking about? Nothing, buddy. You're a valued member of the team. That's why they call me Star-Lord! Let my rocket go! Huh? I'm Moses. Are we supposed to know who that is? Part of the Seas guy? The tentacles, right? What? No! Anyway, thanks. I was pretty sure he had tentacles. What do you say, group? Now that we got the whole team together? Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. Does this cramp corridor ring any bells, Mantis? I thought we just did the wet part. Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. Has he always been able to do that? He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. No, I don't gotta tell him. That you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! Bottling up feelings is a time-honored tradition. If Rocket doesn't want to share... Don't be a Gamora. Drama, really? With water? Forget it, okay? Just forget it. Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in Okay, anyone else gonna at least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Anything in particular? It's always here. Always. What's that supposed to I don't- More Hellraisers. But it ain't those flock cards. 
It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. Then you ain't here it's like it's eyeball things. Rocket's right. I don't know how it's possible, but I'll never forget that squidgy sound. has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Anyone else getting deja vu? Tell the difference between monsters and people. Moore's right. I hear voices, just like when I put on that helmet in the Nova base. You're both crazy. I heard Kelly. It doesn't matter who's right. You can't trust what we hear. I ain't loving this tight space. You're the smallest of all of us. Sums it up. At least there's a way out now, I guess. Overgrown lizards make clicky sounds. You got moss in your ears. I hate to say it, I mean, I really hate to say it, but it does sound like those squishy eyeball things. Okay, I'm officially tired of being right. Even when we're right, we're wrong. Get ready! Ugh, it's like closing the sit! We're just killing for Deep can this go? Circular? The fog calls and we answer. hear more of Hellbender's goons.
I hear it. But what is it? This isn't right. It can't be real. It sure felt real when we were fighting them. Shh. And about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. Like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source, it's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. There's no meaning Yeah, no offense, Bug Lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity? Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... <laughs> no, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay! This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. And I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um... Well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Friend. And Gamora, you've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. But, or if you do, I don't catch it, but I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. 
growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help! we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. That base is the need of some deconstructive surgery. Good thing we got Dr. Rocket and his bag of bombs. Job for the little guy. Little Fuzzy! Now is the time for explosion! Don't make it all happen! Stay down! Rocket, think you can squeeze in? Talk about bad breath! Find a way to destroy the statue! Okay, so let's blow this thing to hell! Say it, there. but How evil me did it work? Feels like it should have worked. Uh, us, Ooh. them. The source is half destroyed. Uh. Little Fuzzy must finish the job. Uh. I'm thinking all it takes is one more blast. Mantis? Oh no, no, no! The only way to save him is to destroy the source of your other selves. What? The statue! We gotta nuke the statue! Huddle up! What a blast! I haven't felt this excited since the Galactic War! Better watch her out there, Quill. She fought on both sides, remember? Whereas me, I don't need to take sides to mow anybody down. I just love making scumbusters go boom! Next time, Try just listening to us next time. Peter! The 
This isn't my fault! Okay, look, Rocket! I do! Shut you. up, Quill! I know what I gotta do, and I I'm just gonna... Really? I'm gonna suck it up and do it! Be careful! I've seen you what you've done! You got Rocket! <laughs> Little Fudgy! Oh, please work, please work! Come no, on, you Rocket, don't. you can do this! I do! You can, I've seen right, it. Mantis? I felt it! Mantis. I don't know! Go, 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 go. Mantis, why didn't it work? You have to finish the job! Where's Rocket? Finish the job, Starguy, please! Or all of it will have been for nothing! It's all up to you now, Starguy! Finish it off! Please, before it's too late! It. Check it out. <laughs> Still not dead. <laughs> I can't believe you did that for us. Hey, a friend needed help. A bunch of them. Rocket, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. She's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. You're kidding. Even with our prize negotiator over here? Mantis has been right so far. About what? Finding swamp water in the stinking cave of doom? Yeah, Bug Lady got that part right. Thanks. We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's... Hold you. Oh, gross. Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Followers. Think fast, beard butt. How the? You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass.
cannot quell a god! Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. What wayward wickedness is this? Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No, wait, Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsock? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. In we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Ugh. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Manta seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plains, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your... Minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. 